So that's what happens when you find the fish. <laughs> find a fish that the winter fishing is all about. Beautiful fresh fish. Just look at that. So awesome. Welcome to the start of the winter fishing madness in Taupo. It's that time of the year when the trout start running up the rivers from the lake, a bit like Great Lake Steelhead, and large numbers to go and spawn in the headwaters. And the lower reaches remain open for us to target the trout as they migrate up. And uh, it's a crazy fishery. Sometimes the fishing is insane. It's still early season though. Uh, so I am going to have to find fish today just don't know where they are uh, there's not huge numbers in the rivers yet I've had a fairly quiet weekend before with a family so I'm just gonna give it a go and see if I can find some pods of fish and get some good fishing for you today so let's head up river and see what we can find well I haven't found any fish yet but uh, it's early season and I'm just making my way up the reports I've heard recently have been pretty good from further upstream so I'm just gonna go straight up there and give that a go well first time I've seen some of the changes up here my favorite section there is completely gone but might be a little bit of holding water still there uh, floods really have changed things so gotta figure out where the new holding spots are for the fish okay Looks like it has potential. I've taken one split shot off because this is nice slow water so I don't need the extra split shot. Here we go, tiniest fish, tiny fish, but I guess it's a fish to start off with and it's not going for my line to create nice chaos. <laughs> well, tiny little trout, not quite what we're looking for, but it's a start. There we go, little rainbow, it's a start. Okay, well that's a start. It is a fish. A little bit more. So good drift got a fish. Let's see if we can do it again. And a bigger one. There we go, that's a bit of fish. Keep it out of the snags. It really wants to go in the snags. Oh, that's a nice fish. Awesome. That's the fish we want to catch here. Just that good drift right up against that side. Go. Nice fish. Nice even three pounds. There we go. First fresh fish. Awesome. That is what we wanted to start with. Hasn't been that long. Uh, so, oh, oh, and there it goes. <laughs> uh, quick release. So, yeah, that's what we wanted. The start of the winter fishing. And uh, yeah, it's the, I don't know which one of the eggs did, it, did the job, but I've just caught it at the moment. Two uh, soft eggs on. And I'll try different things throughout the day, but I've got a 
little formal one on and uh, it's a black magic one i think and then i've got a two ball on there an orange one uh, that's a six millimeter i think so and that's it and just a dropper setup and one split shot above the knot and that's it um, nice slow water so it gets down for a good drift and uh, yeah it works so it saves you also the heavy flies um, and if you do a truck and trailer rig uh, the, the heavy fly often bounces along the bottom it's more likely to snag this ends up snagging less and with this long one that wafts a lot in the current and uh, moves quite naturally and then the shorter one will just flow just above the bottom like that and uh, yeah I, I, I find this rig <laughs> money saving and uh, and quite effective and you can easily these kill well split shots with the wings you can just with your fingers pinch and clip on and off so it's very easy to change weights depending on the depth of the water you're fishing and then I've just got my sliding indicator that uh, is New Zealand strike indicator system with the tubing and uh, that just slides up and down depending on the water depth so that is the nymphing rig for the winter um, and obviously you can do different setups here that works for me okay well I saw a bit of fish movement on the other side there so across this little channel if I can sandbank on the other side oh, I knew I was going to do that Yes. <laughs> I, uh, oh, I'm gonna have to keep this one tight. I came to free my line and decided to just drop it in here. I got a better grip. And uh, here we go, this fish has got wrapped. He's gonna unwrap himself. Don't reach my net. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Another beautiful fresh fish. A little bit smaller than the previous one, but yeah, pretty cool. Nice look there. This is what we're after for the winter fishing. Right, I'm definitely going to try that again. Yes, yes, there we go. Just need to keep him out of the snags. Just don't give him time to run. Ooh, ah. <laughs> First jack. Awesome. Beautiful jack. Lovely fish. Another good one. And uh, yeah, the fishing's picking off well. So uh, let's get that one away. So that's what happens when you find the fish <laughs> uh, fishing can be quite good and uh, I think there's going to be only a very small pod in there but we'll uh, we'll see how many we can pick out of that so I'm getting to that point now I've got the little one but I haven't had any touches from any big ones again a couple of snaggy bits probably but Oh, that was wrong. There we go. On the fish. It feels like a good one. I can keep it out of the snags. That is a nice fresh fish. I think that will be, if I can land this one, it will be the, I need to keep it out of the snags. Swim leader is not going to help today. Left its head. swam into me got it but huh. 
Beautiful fish. Oh, that is a beautiful fresh fish. Oh, beautiful fish in. Look at that. Just very nice. Awesome. Very, very happy we are having a good start. The winter madness has started. Big fish. Let's get that one away. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to try again. I've changed one fly. Put a uh, slushy on. Just so there's something different. And that's one of the slushies that Patrick tied for me. Thank you very much, Patrick. Let's hope we get a fish on that one. Quite a few fish out of a small piece of water. So that's what happens when they're stacked up. So I don't know how many more there's going to be in here, but let's find out if there are any more. It's really interesting to use the drone and uh, put it up here when the sun is up. See if it's possible to see how many fish are in here. Yes! Yes! Let's see if it's on Patrick's slushy or the other egg. I'm very curious. Is it the top fly? Top fly is a slushy. Yes, Patrick, it's on your slushy. Awesome. Swing the fly. Yeah, there it is on the top fly on the slushy. Oh! And a beautiful big fresh hen. Ah, oh, that's a nice fish. There it is in the corner of the mouth. Awesome. Now that is some beautiful winter chrome there. Beautiful four pound fish on Patrick's slushy. That change of fly did the trick. Yeah, now that's what we want. This is the kind of fish that the winter fishing is all about. Beautiful fresh fish. Just look at that. So awesome. Cool. Let's hit that one away. See if we can get another one out of there. Well, I did chuck the drone out quickly and uh, didn't see anything in here. More on the phone screen that you control it with. Too small to really see. Might be able to see something on the computer, but anyway, it doesn't matter. We know there has been fish in here and let's we'll see if we can get one more. It's been rested for a little while. And a snag sitting on that. Surely. No, it's a fish. Uh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Can I keep it out of the snags? <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> Bad jumping. Bad jumping. Oh my god, there must be a whole pile in there. Really good numbers in there. Long leaders always make landing fish. Just a little bit of a challenge. Yes, nice. Well, Patrick Slushy strikes again. It's amazing how many fish I've got out of that little spot. Just incredible. Well, it's been really good fishing so far today. I've really not moved very far. So, again, it just reiterates in winter just finding some fish and fishing it thoroughly. And I can't imagine I'm going to get much many more out of there, but I am going to try once or twice more and then i'll move up and go and explore further and try and find some more just trying some different water since there was fishing here i'm just going to try that right over run on the opposite side there behind that tree yes. 
seems likely that there will be some fish up in here as well if there was fish down there. Yes, yes, yes. They are in here indeed. Ah, did he bust me or did I bit of a bad knot? Yeah, bad knot, I think. Just added that fly too. A little bit further up, see if I can drift it under those branches. Yes! Oh, what a good day's fishing so far. There we go. Cool. Another fish. There we go. Another fish. Not the biggest, but a nice winter fish. Awesome. <laughs> Let's get that one away. What a great session for that. I mean, how many fish did I get out of that little bit? And then up here as well and down there. That's a really good little session. So. Just thought I'd mention if you want to learn how to catch fish in Topo in winter in these rivers I have created a course, an online course that I've dumped everything I know about fly fishing these rivers over the last 20 years in there that will teach you the different methods, how to rig it, how to set it up, how the fishery is different from summer and different uh, from other regions and how what you need to do to be successful in winter here. So if you're new to the region or you're relatively new to fly fishing check that out and uh, hopefully that will help you get onto some fish this winter but now I really enjoy this session I think I uh, it's only 11 o'clock now and I didn't think I was going to do that well so early on so I am going to walk back to the car and maybe go and do something different possibly a bit of swinging uh, for the rest of the afternoon see if I can pick up fish in a different place different technique Yes, got him. Yes, yes. He came after it a second time. <laughs> awesome. Fish on the swing. That rabbit fly worked again. It's uh, Simon's design. Rainbow. An interesting looking tail just coming out. It hasn't jumped. This is an area where browns are common, so very interesting. Let's see the fish soon. Ah, oh, it's a rainbow. It is a rainbow. Beautiful fat rainbow. Oh, nice. There we go. A beautiful fat hen. Lovely fish. Very, very happy you got one on the swing. Pretty early on as well, which is really nice. So, last look there, and then we'll get this fish away. Well, I don't know what I was recording on the GoPro, uh, if anything, but I got a really nice fish on the swing. Hopefully, it got on the 360. Uh, but yeah, don't know. I don't know if I turned it off after I caught it or what I did, but it was off. I don't know. Okay. Biggest fish for today. Beautiful four pound hen. Absolutely stunner. Just love it. 
Uh, yeah, cool. That is what we came for. So, uh, been a very successful day so far, and uh, really nice to get some good fish on the swing. So that fish last good get that one away. Well, I couldn't get any more fish on the swing but I really hope you enjoyed that session and the fishing today and check out that course if you want to learn how to do this and uh, thanks for watching I will see you in the next one watch this one in the meantime that is a cool video from last year